a mile and a quarter this time then still at Newmarket of course and these are the older horses again four year olds and upwards and the top one is living the moment D. Hooley Lukey Donald David Robertson Marquis de Bravo Derek Hinton Dandery Note Craig Allen Muldoon Sharp Holly Peacock Royal Executioner Jim Murray Envious Joshua Sutherland Roundabout Martin Leader Matarazzi Michael Scala Ultimately Cool Paul Rhodes Panama Hard Ryan Costello Memphis Willpower Vinnie Gerard Mabel Farewell Alex Cherry No Giles For Darren Thompson Chantilly Lace Kevin Minahan, door to door, Leon Van Rensburg, and pretty smart Ryan Tamasibi all in the stalls in. And away they go. Closest to us, roundabout was nicely out of the stalls, and right over on the far side, a little slowly out was living the moment. But they sorted themselves out through the first furlong or so, then, and ultimately, cool is probably just in the lead. Nothing seems all that keen to go on at this stage. The pace seems a little pedestrian Marquis de Bravo door to door now bursting right through to take it up is living the moment the one that was slowly away and the one that was out quickly round about has dropped to the back so make of that what you will then and living the moment is in the lead from Royal Executioner about two lengths but down in second then Lukey Donald is after that Muldoon Sharp door to door and Dandery note then Memphis Willpower Marquis de Bravo and Envious and Mabel Farewell ultimately call his closest to us looking towards the back no guards and roundabout are the back two roundabout looks a little bit slow at this stage but living the moment is clear by a couple of lengths to Muldoon Sharp and Lukey Donald then down to Renote Memphis Willpower Royal Executioner door to door and envious but it's living the moment in the purple jacket right over on the far rail is in the lead by a couple of lengths to the bump bursting through now at the centre of the track is Memphis Willpower and Memphis Willpower comes through to try and dispute the lead they're split across the track though but it's Memphis Willpower closest to us probably just in front living the moment's got the rail now Dandery Notes trying to get there ultimately calls well placed as well also trying to make a run through is Marquise de Bravo but it's probably ultimately cool in front I think the angle's deceptive living the moment's on the far side Dandery Note and Memphis Willpower still there as well Memphis Willpower living the moment Dandery Note envious they've got three furlongs still to go and it's living the moment in front from Memphis Willpower ultimately cool now burst through and just about takes it up coming through in that yellow jacket right over on the far side there is um, there's that Dandery Note I think ultimately calling the lead Dandery Note Memphis Willpower living the moment's now dropped away roundabout turning off but it's ultimately calling the lead ultimately cool from Dandery Note ultimately cool inside the final furlong it's two lengths clear of Dandery Note Memphis Willpower door to door and envious then Matarazzi but it's ultimately cool in front now beginning to close though the pack they race up towards the line ultimately Ultimately, Cool needs the post and just gets the post from Dandery Note. And Memphis Willpower Act might be closer than I thought because the angle is very deceptive. I thought that Ultimately Cool had hung on, but on the replay, it looks like I've got it wrong. And Dandery Note has got up and taken it. Dandery Note, Ultimately Cool hit the wall. And Dandery Note. Is the winner for Craig Allen, ultimately cool and lucky in second for Paul Rhodes, Memphis Willpower, Vinnie Gerard third, door to door, Leon Van Rensburg fourth, and no girls for um, somebody, sorry. <laughs> was fifth, I think it might be Darren Thompson. Yeah, it was Darren Thompson fifth with no girls.